Hi everyone, my name is Aaron and I'm a current fourth year student in the Bachelors of Kinesiology program at Brock University. The reason why I chose kinesiology in the first place was because I always knew I wanted to help people. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I've always been fascinated by movement as well as the human body. So after volunteering in a physio clinic, being able to understand what goes into a, re a rehab team really stuck out to me and um, I knew kin was right for me. And the reason why I chose Brock was for a few reasons. When I was in grade 12, my biggest concern was becoming another number to the institution. So I specifically applied to smaller schools. It's significantly helpful if you have a, um, a relationship with your professors. I will say one of the biggest assets of Brock is their experiential learning opportunities. So outside of the academics, they have um, opportunities for you to engage in the Niagara community as well as the Brock community and practice your skills. We also have our Spro Brock Sports Performance and Brock Sports Medicines programs. This allows you to either become a strength and conditioning coach for a varsity team or allows you to be um, the student trainer for a varsity team. And lastly, we also have programs where you can work with um, individuals who identify as neuro or developmentally diverse. So the teaching style at Brock, um, at least in their kinesiology programs, um, they're not incredibly fast paced. However, there's a lot of work involved. And that's because a lot of our content is really dense and memory focused. And then in your upper years, you get more of a choice of what you get to specialize in. When I applied for the BKIN program, you needed uh, low to mid 80s to get into the program with, um, you needed a one university level math and English and biology. However, I would also recommend taking um, the introduction to kinesiology course where you kind of get an intro to anatomy and a bit of physiology depending on your school, as well as uh, the physics and advanced functions classes are also very helpful, uh, specifically for our biomechanics class. So uh, most co-op programs aren't paid in Kent. So um, I do recommend getting involved in those experiential learning opportunities I was speaking about earlier because being able to understand the populations out there and working with various populations and age and various demographics is very important to becoming uh, a competent healthcare practitioner. Firstly, the first two years at Brock University are very generic especially in our kin program. However, in your upper years, you're given more selection. I personally recommend taking courses that you're passionate about rather than those that you think would be easier. That's for two reasons you can say. Firstly, um, students typically tend to do better if they're passionate about the information that they're learning, as well as you want to learn stuff that's going to be meaningful to you. If you're only learning stuff to do well in school, you're not going to really be able to apply a lot of it to the outside world. As this program is very memorization based, the best strategies which worked for me personally were using cue cards, whiteboards, as well as studying with classmates. This allowed me to really understand the information better, being able to draw it out, as well as um, speaking with my peers allowed me to understand where I was, I guess, wrong in a sense when I was first lear learning a concept. When I was in first year, I definitely did not allocate enough time to the classes that I should have. Um, I would de definitely recommend spending a significant amount of time on each class per week just because you don't want to fall behind in any, any of your classes. When I was in first year, I lived in residence and it was a phenomenal time. Uh, I met my best friends in residence and there's no better feeling than being able to walk home and take a nap after an 8 a.m. lecture. I lived in the village residence and this is more of a townhouse style, so I had a full kitchen with a fridge, oven, stove, microwave. So it really allowed me to cook what I wanted rather than relying on the cat food. The go-to spots at Barack include the Hungry Badger, Schwan Tower, and the Karen's Complex. These are all these are all Barack landmarks as well as their great study spots. There are over a hundred clubs at Barack which you can get involved in. I would definitely recommend getting involved in the clubs. I would definitely recommend getting involved in clubs, especially in those with focuses you're interested in. For the third year in a row now, Brock University has been ranked number one in mental health support in Canada 
by Mc McLean's Magazine University ratings. Our school also provides health care benefits, which include medical, dental, physio, and massage therapy. Our human services departments are also very well-renowned, as they do a lot of work supporting and promoting indigenous and cultural events hosted by Brock as well as within the Niagara community. The advice I told myself and I would recommend to all of you incoming first year students would be to get involved in your school as much as you can possibly manage. Obviously you don't want to go past the point where you burn yourself out, but being able to experience different opportunities with different, working with different students and different groups is really, really important because this allows you to understand what you like and what you don't like. And then when you're in your upper years, you can kind of choose to specify what you want to really go into. In regard to self-management, I would definitely recommend using an agenda. An agenda or a planner has been super essential for me as um, the due dates, the meetings, the timelines really add up when you're involved and you're a full-time student. The things I wish I took uh, advantage of when I was in my first year would definitely be the free events hosted by the Brock University Students' Union. They host events designed to encourage networking and companionship amongst first-year students, and they give a lot of free giveaways which are really nice. My last word of advice would be, if you do choose a kinesiology program, I really do wish you the best of luck and I, I want you to keep your head up, keep your your eye on, on the goal you have in mind because you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it and if you're passionate about it.